hello you are welcome to my channel today we are going to wire a push button interlock for forward and reverse starter in this circuit we used push buttons as interlocks instead of normal close contact on the contactors let's on the main breaker when you press on the forward push button the forward contactor energizes the light is on indirectly it can be motor when we press on the reverse switch button, the fourth contactor would de-energize and the reverse contactor would energize. <laughs> Equally, we can press the stop button to de-energize them. You don't have to necessarily use the stop button to de-energize any of the contactors. This circuit is found in CNC systems and gear-driven motors. It has a large application in industrial automation. So let's get started. This is the circuit diagram. This is our stop button, forward start push button, reverse start push button. The forward start push button is a double acting push button. It has a closed section and an open section. The same applies to the reverse push button, closed session and then open session. We wired the closed session of the forward push button in series with the open section of the reverse push button and then goes to A1 of the reverse contactor. And we wired the open section of the forward push button in series with the closed section of the reverse push button. Then it goes to A1 of the forward contactor. These are the hold on. Now, when you press on the forward push button, this normally closed contact will open and then normally open contact will close. When this contact closes, current flows through this closed contact, then through this closed contact on the reverse push button, then it energizes the forward contactor. When the forward contactor energizes, this hold on contact would close. So when we release our hand, because it is a spring loaded, the button will go back to its normal state. This side will open back, but because this contact is closed, so current will flow through this closed contact through here so that it will maintain the forward contactor in energized state and when you want to energize the reverse contactor we only press the reverse push button when the reverse push button is pressed this contact will open when it opens automatically the forward contactor will de-energize this contact will close when it closes let's see already this contact is closed so current will flow through this closed contact through this closed contact to energize the reverse contactor. When the reverse contactor energizes, this hold on contact will close so that when we remove our hand from the reverse push button, this contact will go back to its open state. When it opens, because this contact is closed, current will still flow through here to maintain the reverse contactor in energized state. So let's begin the wiring. This is our stop button, forward push button, reverse push button, forward contactor, reverse contactor. These are our indicator lamps. It goes to one side of the stop button. Normally close side. This is the one. From the other side, it goes to the normal close section of the forward push button. It is double acting push button. This is normally open session. Normal close session. It comes to one side of the normal close session. The side. From this side, it is going to the open contact on the reverse push button. This is the reverse push button. This is the open side. Then the closed side. We are using the open side now. Then from the other side of the open contact, it goes to reverse contactor A1. Now we are done with this line. We tap from the normal close section of the forward push button to one side of the open section on the forward push button.
to one side of the open contact. From the other side, it goes to the normally closed section of the reverse push button. This is the reverse push button. From the other side, it goes to the fourth contactor, A1. We are done with this line also. Now it is left with the hold on. We wire open contact on the forward contactor in power with the open contact on the forward start button. This side is the open section. It goes to 13, the open contact on the forward contactor. Take another cable. It goes to the 14 on the forward contactor. Now we wire open contact on the reverse contactor in power with the open contact on the reverse push button. This is the 13 open contact on the reverse contactor. If it's a three-phase motor, you connect the wires down here. Therefore, we are going to use indicator lamps as our indications. You tap from the downside of the normally close button. We are using only one line of the load contact. So we connect it at the input. And then the output will go to the lamp. We have two lamps. This is for forward, this is for reverse. This is a cable on the forward lamp. We connect it here. Now on the forward contactor, we tap from the input side of the low contacts to the input side on the reverse contactor. Put the cable there. Now this is our reverse indicator lamp. This is the cable. We put it at the output side. These are the neutral cables. They are already connected. We are going to join the neutral together. This is the neutral from the supply. I'll take a blue cable. Put it at the A2 of the forward contactor. Now, I will join the indicator lamp neutral to this neutral cable. Then it goes to the A2 of the reverse contactor. Now, we are done with the wiring. Let's test. We on our main breaker. This is forward push button, forward contactor, forward indicator lamp, reverse push button, reverse contactor, and then reverse indicator lamp. We are going to energize the forward contactor. We press on the forward button. It is energized. When you want to energize the reverse contactor, we don't have to press on the stop button. We only press on the reverse push button, and then the forward contactor will de-energize.
you can equally press the stop button to de-energize them. This is push button interlock. It is found in industrial applications. It is very, very interesting circuit. In geared motor applications, CNC systems, a lot. So please, if you could not get the full understanding, I will urge you that you watch the video again. Like the video, put down your comment, and then share the video to your friends. I will see you in the next tutorials. Thank you.